Knowing the rules of chess is just the beginning. Chess is an incredibly deep game that you can spend a lifetime learning. So let's get started. Once you make your first move on the chessboard, you have entered what is called the opening phase of the game. This is where you begin to develop your pieces onto good squares where they can attack, defend, and control the center. Once most pieces have developed, the game enters the middle game phase, where both players are making plans, organizing their pieces, finding weaknesses, and attacking their opponent's king. Some games end right in the middle game with checkmate or resignation. Like in this position, after queen e4, white creates a battery with the queen and bishop on the b1 to h7 diagonal, threatening checkmate. Notice the queen is also threatening the unprotected rook on a8. Black only notices the unprotected rook, moves it to safety, and then is shocked to see the game is over. Queen takes h7, checkmate. Not all games end that quickly. Some games continue on, and after many of the pieces have been traded away, enter the end game phase, where the goal is usually to promote a pawn to a queen and then checkmate your opponent. In these lessons, you will learn about each of these phases of the game in detail so you can improve your chances of winning. But before we get too far, it's time to talk about your first moves in the opening. There are three main goals in the opening. First is to establish control of the center. The center is the most important part of the board. From the center, you can launch an attack anywhere. Second is to get your pieces onto active squares. They don't have many options when they're stuck on the back rank where they start, so bringing them into the game toward the center is a good idea. Third is to get your king to safety by castling so the king is not exposed to the dangers of the battle in the center. All of your opening moves should support these goals. Now it's your turn to practice making great opening moves.